All right, how are you guys doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and we are going to take a look at linear and angular speed, known as the bike problem. Now, this is a really common type of problem that you will see in a pre-calculus level course. So here we go. A bicycle tire has a radius of 1.5 feet. In four seconds, the bicycle travels 400 feet. And we've got to do two things. First, determine the linear speed of the tire, and second, determine the angular speed of the tire. So let's take a look at the information we have here. We've got a radius of 1.5 feet. So that's R, and that's really easy to see. Four seconds, so that we're told time, and then we're also told the distance, how far the bike travels. But distance, when it comes to stuff moving around in circles, it's not the same thing as distance that we normally think of. It's called arc length, and that's denoted by the letter S. Now, when we go to determine the linear speed, so linear speed for an object, what we're going to need to do is, first of all, always write down your formula. And there's two formulas for linear speed. One of them is V equals S over T. And V is the velocity, S is the arc length, and T, of course, is time. Now, we've got all of those components. We've got the S, we've got the T, but there's also another formula for linear speed, and sometimes you might have to use this one. If you don't have the arc length, you might have to use this formula, r theta over t. So that could be another variation that you would be able to use depending on the information you're given. But we're not going to use this formula because we have s and t. So basically, this is just a simple substitution from this point on. So S, we're going to put in our 400, and make sure you include the units, that's feet, and then our time is 4 seconds. When you reduce everything, you get a velocity of 100 feet per second. And of course, we'll go ahead and write a sentence to wrap this up. The linear speed of the tire is 100 feet per second. So that's all you need to do. The key thing on this is to make sure that you use the correct formula for linear speed. Now, angular speed is going to be a little bit different formula, and that's the thing with this kind of section. It's basically tons and tons and tons of formula stuff. Now, to determine angular speed, again, we're going to have two different formulas that we can use. We're going to have omega equals theta over t, and theta is going to be our angle measured in radians, and that's a key thing when we look at problems like that. Theta's got to be in radians, can't be in degrees. Another version of the formula is V over R. So we already found our velocity, our linear speed. So we're going to go ahead and use this formula, V over R, because we have both of those variables. Now I'm going to rewrite V over R as V times the quantity 1 over R like this, and you'll see why in a moment. Now those of you guys taking chemistry will really understand this because I know in chemistry you do this thing called dimensional analysis. And in dimensional analysis you want to make sure as you're converting units, you want to make sure that you get rid of certain units. So when we rewrite our formula, all we're doing is substituting in, but for our linear speed for the V, we're going to write it as 100 feet over 1 second because that's the same thing as 100 feet per second. So this, when we write it like this, notice our units of feet will cancel out. Now when that happens, we'll be left with the following. So we end up with 100 radians over 1.5 seconds. Now, you're asking, where did this rad unit come from? Well, in pre-calculus or in mathematics, that is a unit that is going to be assumed to be there because theta is our angle that we're working with, our angular speed, and that has to be in radians. So now we've actually converted everything so that we do have theta over t or radians over time. So when we have this, now it's just a matter of doing a simple arithmetic here. And so when you plug that into your calculator, you get about 66.66, and the 6 keeps going on forever, so we'll just round that to 7 radians per second. And of course, we'll go ahead and write a sentence. The angular speed of the tire is 66.667 radians per second. All right, that's a quick example on linear and angular speed. I hope this helps clarify a couple of pieces for you. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Peace out.